Hello everyone, on this video I bring you the second part of my tutorial of open and closing doors, drawers, whatever you want with the clicked event. Alright, so in the previous video I show you the blueprints, the nodes that you have to use for opening and closing drawers as well as um, adding interaction between them, well restrictions actually, like on this example where if this drawer is open then the open door cannot open and vice versa if the open door is open then the drawers cannot open i show you all of that in the previous video right now on this video i'm just going to show you which is exactly the same as the drawers just that the difference is that instead of using the location knot you will be using the rotation knot i'm going to show you right now you're going to click right click on the mouse blueprint class actor and let's call it however you want it i'm going to call it bp door all right here is the blueprint let's add a static mesh okay let's just call it sm door or you can leave it like that and in here, on static mesh, I'm going to choose the right door. Perfect. There it is. Now we're going to go to event graph to start the codings. We're going to choose SM door and we're going to scroll down to this section, to the events section. And we're going to click on unclick. We're going to delete this because we don't need them. At least not in here. For this now we're going to create a variable it's going to be boolean so we leave it as it is the name is going to be door closed and we're going to click on here to make it true all right so we're going to bring it here get door closed we're going to pull a branch There it is and then we're going to look for a timeline the timeline not here it is a timeline we're going to call this one open door there it is we're going to move it here above all right afterwards also let's remember what we learned on the previous video we're going to connect it to play from start. There it is. And then from update, we're going to bring the set relative rotation. Well, we're going to put it from here, from the touch component. Set relative rotation. Here it is. We connect it to update and to make it less messy we're going to left click on the mouse to create these little knots there it is all right so from here we want that door to move from point a to point b so we're going to bring a LERP rotator nod. Okay, we're going to, by the way, open the timeline because we need to add some stuff in here. We're going to add a flow track. We're going to call it open time or whatever you want to call it. We're going to click here, add key curve float. You're going to right click on the mouse to add this key and on time it's going to be zero and value we're going to leave it zero as well and then just randomly add key and this one's going to have the value of 1.5 and 1 there it is let's compile save and let's continue now 
we're going to make two variables in here from these nodes so promote to variable we're going to call this start rotation and end rotation so we want the door to rotate from point A which is start to point B which is end rotation there it is and the alpha is going to be connected to the open time of the timeline the open door timeline perfect and now at the end we're going to add the door closed uh, and we're going to have it like this unchecked because we want the blueprint to know that the door is not closed anymore it's opened now we're just going to copy paste because I am lazy and we're just going to make quick modifications to this we're going to connect it here too there it is now we're going to click on this new timeline we're going to name it um, close close yes close door and we're going to connect it to the play from start by the way not play let just remember always to connect it from play from start also on the timeline we're going to click this use last frame Now let's open the new timeline that we have, the closed door, use last frame, and that's it. And also we're going to change this, so instead of open time, right click to rename, we're going to, clo we're going to call it close time, there it is, save all. Alright, and in here, we're going to change the variables, because right now, as the door is open, it's on end rotation if we wanted to close we wanted to move from end rotation to start rotation so we need to change these variables there it is and in here it's going to be closed again so we click on here great and last before I forget we're going to add the values by the way because we did not add it in here so we're going to add them on the end rotation so in here on C we're going to add 90 degrees or just the value 90 is actually there it is 90 now we're going to add our door to the scene doesn't matter that it's in here in the kitchen we're just going to put it randomly here we're going to hit play alright here is our door we're going to hit it and there it is we're going to click again perfect it opens and closes in case you wanted to go in front instead of back you just change the value to negative 90 we're going to do it very quickly just to show you negative 90 there it is now let's hit play and there it is it's going to the front perfect well that's the end of the video I hope that it is useful for you if you like it and if you would like to get notifications on new videos that I upload I upload videos for my many products that I offer and also tutorials that I create from Blender and from Unreal Engine. So if you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Have a great day or night.